Every fighter has a story. What is yours? Hmm? Are you nervous? Me? Yeah. Thanks. International fight week out here in Las Vegas. You know what's crazy? The first time I ever filmed y'all, mm -hmm. two, where was it at Boston? It was, it was Boston. just like this. We was riding to the, we was riding to the signing. Yeah, something and like this. Yes, yeah. yes, it's the first time, and now we got this. I go and make history. 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 Like like sign after this. I know, I know how he gonna make. We gonna break this story, after. Bro. No, no. <laughs> after the shopping is gonna go. After there, he gonna go shopping, take all the clothes. Brother, no. If Russian fans come, brother, we gonna broke this store, brother. <laughs> You no, use. Yeah. yeah. Talk about this. Yeah. Talk, about, talk about this. So, so I'll just tell you what you said yeah. to me because you don't remember. So he comes up to me afterwards and he says, he's trying to be nice. I'm kind of shaken up. He says, Reed, in Dakistan I've been in money, but many bus attacks. It's okay. You'll get used to it. <laughs> they hired a doctor. They got him an apartment. And now you did his surgery. Start his physical therapy every day. But he kept getting injured for two years. My brother. Let me see. I'm, I'm good, Ooh, good. Cologne? Yes. It's a good one. I'm, I'm not going to tell them about your tea, bro. Here, cheers. Ooh. Magnoli be backstage inside the T-Mobile arena with the soon-to-be Hall of Famer, Habib Nurmagomedov. Habib, you have had so many accomplishments and accolades in your career. What does this one mean, being inducted into the UFC Hall of Fame? You know, I was here at the very first UFC held in this arena, UFC 200. I fought against Anderson Silva, and I fought Steve Bain, won my double championship here. So it means a ton to me to be able to do this uh, at this arena, be recognized one last time, and um, just truly cap off what has been something I never could have imagined. When we get downstairs, maybe we have to go home? I finished with it. Wait, what? With soda, I finished two weeks. Why? Two weeks, finished. Why? Not because I finish, I have to lose weight. Like what do you eat? 11 pounds I lose when I finish with soda. Everybody's good. Hey, you wash your hands? Yes, I did. You wash your hands? <laughs> Always, thank you. There's going to be a pink door to your right. Have you can fun. open that. When I first met Habib, I was introduced to Habib by my brothers, Rizvan. Asad, and he has torn his ACL. And they were scrambling to get some help because he was not receiving the proper medical care where he was from. Let's go! Brother, you are one of the greatest speakers in both MMA community. Then, number one, you're number two. My opinion, brother. You are one of the greatest Brother, you can speak with all this. Well, I swear, I like, I, I, I say what I think. I think you can speak without this. But I want you bring this, okay, help, but try to be yourself. First door to your right, be a uh, pink door. This one? This? Yep. Yeah. Well, we thank all of you in attendance tonight. Over 2,500 tickets sold, more than $30,000 raised for a great cause. Candlelighters Childhood Cancer Foundation. Ali was crying his eyes out in rehearsal. I don't know if you saw earlier tonight, but when they played the feature, he seems to be holding it together right now. DC, how was it, man? It was great, man. I I had fun. It was really fun. I I couldn't have imagined it would have been any better. I'm so honored, man, and blessed to have been able to do that. Now I'm in the Hall of Fame. This is 
is the best. Yes, man. Dude, you crushed it. Are you kidding me? The towel shit, bro? Fucking crazy. Perfect. Well, if there's ever a night to come clean. The whole thing is fucking If there's ever a night to come clean, Will. It's a night, right? I can't believe you did it. Sorry, Will. I've been lying for years, though. Yeah. <laughs> couldn't carry the burden anymore. I just couldn't carry the burden anymore. I just could not carry the burden of that secret. One of the best we ever done, it may be the best we ever done. It was a perfect career. Having an entire country on his back, fighting for the honor of his family, he is a legend of the game. Habib is the greatest of all time. I want to ask you guys what time is it? This man was truly special. And no one will ever do it like him again. If there's ever a guy that deserves to be in the Hall of Fame, it is the eagle of Dagestan, Habib Nurmagomedov. Best to ever do. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Hey, you know, the scream thing, I never look, because Let's I look, I can't read very well anyway. I, I, I'm not. Brother, you're so, I know which one professional. Be who had better speech. Please. Dude, be, be honest. <laughs> I got you. Be honest. You tell me. You tell me. <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> I think I was better than you. Yeah, you think so? The fight of the night, like performance of the night, I think. You think so a little bit? Big honor. Very big honor, you know. We was training together. He was champions almost same time. He was with retired almost same time. Now with same time, inducted the Hall of Fame. You know, it's like, and uh, he sees my buddy. He's my brother. You know, I love him. You know, and it's like big, big honor. Very big honor. Let's go. Let's go. Hall of Fame. Yeah. Let's go fast. I'm tired to promote this. Maybe like ten minutes. Where's my phone? All my life, I tried to promote this guy. Yeah, right. Hey, well, hey, hey, Hunter, don't think this guy, when he go from, he go from injury two years, please, brother, please bring me UFC tonight. I said, okay, I bring you. Costa, freight elevator is open and ready. Please, brother, please bring me. Hey, brother, my fever is bad. I got the chair. I got the chair, shoes, 